Hi guys. Let's create this duck animation together today. It will consist of two scenes. In the first one, we will make a dynamic liquid wave with splashes and then add a PNG file with a duck there. In the second scene, we will make the duck appear from the bottom up and we will also add dynamic splashes there. So are you ready? Then let's go. Click create new movie. I choose widescreen. In the settings, select frames per second to 12 and duration to three. Click draw. Let's move on to the first scene. First, let's set the background color. I click on the timer and select background color. After that, we select this blue violet color. Okay. Now we proceed to the animation of the wave. We will create it frame by frame. We fold our panel into a flip book. I choose the studio pen brush and this light blue color. On the first frame, we draw the appearance of the wave. Then we continue in the same spirit. We make the appearance a little bigger. Now we will add the following frames, as if increasing our shape smoothly along the arc. Third frame, fourth frame. On the fifth frame, the wave begins to bend down a little. And on the sixth frame, we add a small bend in the opposite direction. Seventh frame, we continue to increase. If you can't see the neighboring frames well, then when you click on the timer, you can click Edit Onion Skin and select the transparency and the number of visible frames. In my video, it was very hard to see, so I increased the transparency. In this frame, I want to change the shape of the wave a little. It is important that the outline of the new frame goes beyond the previous one. That is, it is larger. Otherwise, the animation will be rough. Let's move on to the next frame. Here we continue to increase the wave. And on the ninth frame, let's change the direction of the wave. As if slightly shifting the camera to the right, the wave begins to move down and we do not see its beginning. On the next frame, we continue moving to the left and down. The next frame, we already see only one edge of the wave. And now for a few more frames, we smoothly reduce it. Okay, let's add another additional wave on the last frame. This will be an effect as if the rest of the wave that broke rises up. On the next frame, we continue in the same spirit. We reduce the left wave, we begin to increase the right one and move it slightly to the left. On the next frame, the left part is no longer visible, and the right wave continues to increase and move to the left. The following frames, we also move the wave to the left and move it down until it disappears. Okay, I'm closing the panel with Flipbook, and let's see the preview of what we've got. It looks quite dynamic. Now let's do some tweaking. I'm going to delete the last two frames. Now I'm going to Flipbook mode and redrawing the end of the animation. I'm going to make a few more frames and keep moving the wave to the left as it gets smaller. Let's see the preview. Great, our base is ready. Now we move on to the next step, which is adding our duck. Click on the plus, photos. Our gallery opens, here I have already saved a PNG of a duck. Our image has filled the entire track. To control its size and location, we need to go to default mode. To do this, click on the active icon next to the timeline. Now when you click on the duck, we have controls for managing the image. Okay, first let's click on the three dots and select the menu item Flip Horizontal. Now also click on the three dots and select the menu item Edit Anchor. Next, we need to move the pointer down, approximately to the middle of the duck. This is necessary in order to control the rotation of the image relative to this point. So, let's start placing the duck on our wave. Go to the first frame and reduce our image. Since the wave is just beginning to appear, we do not see the duck here. Also, let's click on any of the points. 
we get additional control for rotating the image and move it a little like this. So, in order to change the position on the next frame, we need to call the action panel and select the move. Move and scale menu item. OK, we see that the first keyframe has been placed. Next, we need to go to the timeline to the frame we need. Let's select 4 and move the duck to where it should be. I apply rotation and increase it a little. Let's move on. Let's select frame 7. Move the duck even more to the right. Increase it a little, something like this. So, let's look at the movement of the duck at the beginning. It seems like there isn't enough speed here. Let's move it back a little. Then, on frame 9, we increase the duck even more and remove it beyond the screen boundaries. Let's look at the preview. What happened? Here we have easing set, so there is a small pause in the keyframes. To avoid this, you need to hold down the strip with keyframes and select set all easings, linear. Great, let's turn on the preview. OK, that's better. Now let's add a distortion effect to the image. To do this, go to the first frame and call the action panel. Click Move, Warp. Here, leave the minimum values and close. Now we see that a grid has been added to the duck. This way, we can distort our image. Let's move to the fourth frame and here, try to twist our duck like this, a little to the left. Next, increase the effect on the seventh frame. And then go to frame 10. Here, add stretching and distortion to the duck to the maximum. Now let's look at the preview. I want to add even more effect. Let's go to frame 7 and do the opposite, twisting to the right, something like this. And let's move our last keyframe back one. Let's watch the preview. I'm adjusting the eighth frame. Preview. OK. Let's move on to creating splashes of water under the duck. Press plus, select a track. I use Studio Pen Brush. Collapse the panel to flipbook. And here we start drawing this shape under the duck. Add it to each frame. Let's look at the preview. It looks a bit rough, so let's redraw a few frames here. OK, let's look at the result. The next step is filling our wave with color. I go to the first track and drag the color to the shape I want to fill. Procreate Dreams has a bag in which shapes are unevenly filled, so I simultaneously correct this where necessary. Let's speed up a little here. I repeat this for each frame. Preview. Let's go to the timeline and in timeline edit mode, select all the frames of the first track. Then press group. Go to default mode and select rename. Write the layer name. Next, call the action panel, apply the filter, opacity. OK, let's move on. Now we need to fill the shape with splashes of water under the duck. Everything is similar here. Now let's return the layer opacity and see what we've got. 
I left this option on the final animation, but while I was drawing, it seemed to me that I could add additional lines that show the movement of the water. I'll hide them on the final animation, but let's quickly tell you a little about them. On the new track, I draw white stripes that move smoothly backwards. It's important to catch the movement of the wave itself so that these lines don't move very roughly. I added them throughout the animation. Let's see the preview to see how it looked. In addition to this, I decided to add a small outline to the lower splashes. Accordingly, I also removed them later, so let's quickly speed up this stage and move on to the next one. Okay, what awaits us next? Let's go to a new track and start drawing splashes. Now we'll focus on the splashes that come from the main shape under the duck. We draw splashes that gradually decrease and new ones appear. Let's see the preview. Now let's move on to the shape of the wave itself. Select frames with the basic wave and start adding curved shapes. Immediately fill them with color. I want to create a dynamic effect and not make the shape simpler. Let's move on to adding splashes from the main shape. Go to a new track and start drawing splashes. The splashes should also gradually decrease, and they can also break up into several small ones in the process. Look at the preview. It already looks more dynamic. Let's continue and add a few more splashes. Also, don't forget to add splashes from the very last wave. So, we have already drawn the first scene. And now we move on to the second. Here the animation will be much simpler. Go to a new track, click plus, and select photos. In our dialog, select the same duck, click add. Let's first place the duck's appearance in the place where our first scene ends, a little in advance. Now go to the default mode by clicking on the active mode icon. Here we reduce the size of the duck. Call the action panel. Select Move, Move and Scale. And now we move the duck to the very bottom outside the composition. Then we move a little forward, create a keyframe and move the image up. Then we move even further and move the duck back down. Let's apply Set All Easings, Easy In and Out. This will add a little hovering in the air at the very top. Let's place the keyframes a little wider so that the animation is slower. Watch the preview. Great, now let's apply warp to the image. We have the first frame at the beginning of the image. Then we put a keyframe at the very top. Additionally, I will leave a keyframe a little before the animation so that the distortion will come later, they are from the very beginning. Here, let's stretch the animation upward.
Next, go to the last frame and stretch the duck a little more. Let's look at the preview. Great, but some adjustments are needed. Let's move the duck down a little. So, the next step is splashes. Let's create a new track and go to Flipbook. Now we need to draw the splashes appearing on both sides of the duck. As soon as the duck begins to appear within the composition, we begin to draw small shapes. In the following frames, we move the shapes together with the duck and lengthen them. After that, we draw a decrease in shapes. Look at the preview. Let's add a little splashes at the moment when the main shapes disappear. OK. Now we also begin to draw two more lines by analogy. Draw until the duck disappears. Look at the preview. Let's add a little splashes. At the very end, when the duck has already disappeared, we add splashes that fly upward. And on the following frames, we gradually reduce them. Look at the preview. Great, now we only need to add a color fill to these shapes and edit the outline itself. And this is the result I got. Guys, how did you like today's animation? I hope this lesson was useful or interesting to you. You can buy sponsorship on my channel and get the source of this and all my other animations. Link in the description. Ask questions if something is unclear. Let me know if you liked it. I'm waiting for you in my next videos. See you.